What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Jimmy Cast After Dark. This time, less Wyatt, more fun. <laughs> Jeez. Wyatt, Wyatt, if you're watching, Arch. if you're He's watching Wyatt, up. if you're watching Wyatt, we need to talk about Wyatt, Riley. We need to talk about Wyatt. <laughs> you terrible. Something's got to be done. <laughs> about Wyatt. Some, something has to do it. You know what? What are you gonna do? I don't know. It's like you know. Let's be honest here. If we're the Scooby Doo gang, Riley, you know, Wyatt obviously is Velma. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Whose favorite character is Velma? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wyatt's always <laughs> right. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Wyatt, you're always right. It's my birthday, Wyatt. Can you be mad at me? Probably, but you know, hold off a little bit. You know, <laughs> he doesn't no, it's care. It's not your birthday yet. It's you not know your what? Birthday yet. You know what? Got on, a couple hours on Wyatt's birthday. I buy him. I make him buy his own beer on my birthday. He says, "Fuck you, Tanner. I'm not podcasting with you. That's fair. I'm playing That's Destiny. Fair. I'm playing Destiny. I'm I'm going to be the Witch King, the Witch and Queen." I honestly can't be mad at him. I can't. Like, I feel like that's a fair trade. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Just saying, something needs to be done about Wyatt. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> do you think? Do you think? What do you think Wyatt Wyatt does in his free time besides you know, doing his D and D, doing his Destiny raids? I think Wyatt has the possibility of pursuing global domination. Nah. I think he has it in him. I mean, he has it in him, but I don't think he's, like, actually doing things like that. Let me ask you a question, Riley. It, it, don't worry, it's not going to insult me. I'm not going to be insulted. Okay. So keep, that, <laughs> okay. keep that in context. Because me and Ben were having this conversation. Ben, my roommate, friend of the show. Uh, he, <laughs> he, last week, you know, Kaylee came down, my girlfriend, and, you know, we were having a conversation. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. We were having this conversation. Scott Lee was here, too. College roommate, friend of the show. Uh, friend of the show. He and all of Ben and my friends were all talking, and they were like, you know, who would be the best person out of this whole group? Like, if you had to choose one person, who would be the person you would have in the event of the apocalypse? Like, who would be the best person? You know, logical choice with me is like, you know, we all started talking about our strengths, you know, you know, who, who would be the right choice. And I came to the conclusion that Ben would be a great choice because, you know, he's got guns and ammunition. He's got the training and the bulletproof vest. So Ben's obviously, you know, he's top tier. You know, if you had to choose someone top tier. Uh, and then below that, you know, we've got Scott Mooney. You know, he's got the nursing, the health you know, health experience, healthcare, medical experience. Uh, then we got Kaylee, who who was great to have for like a settlement because you know she can build furniture and like woodwork and shit and do okay. Kaylee stuff. You know, you know, there, there you go. And then I realized I'm the worst fucking possible choice. <laughs> for, like, and then, but Ben, Ben brought up a good point, which I I had to respect. I had to respect Ben's point here, which was Tanner has it in him. <laughs> and I went, I went, now what do you mean by that, Ben? What do you mean I have it in him? <laughs> I went, what do you mean by that? He said, well, Scott, he said, Scott, he, he, he shows too much compassion. Like, he'll get us killed because he cares so much. He says, I believe you, Tanner, will give no fucking shit. <laughs> he said, you will make sure that we survive. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't give a shit. <laughs> I was like, you know, that's a fair that that's a fair assessment. You know, is you know, it's not that I lack compassion. Or and Kaylee was like, you make him sound like a sociopath. And I'm like, I get that. You know, fair enough to each their own. But we're in apocalyptic, you know, a post apocalyptic scenario here. So like, I think, you know, while I might, I think I would have it in me. Like I could. You know, post-apocalyptic, you know. I could do it. Oh, my God. 
But does that put me at a higher level than Scott and Ben? No, I don't think it does. I think they've got too much skills on me. But the fact that I have it in me, I could, you know, go slightly above Kaylee, I think. I think I think your quality is more like like not tangible. Mhm. As opposed to their qualities being more tangible. Mm-hmm. Like they 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 would be like good compliments to you is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. But, so here's my next question for you, Riley. You had to choose okay. between me and Wyatt. Who do you choose? <laughs> I don't know, like, so I would probably have, like, if I if I had to pick, uh, like, it's just you and Wyatt, I would put you as a leader, but Wyatt as an assistant to you, mm. because, because Wyatt is going to be more, like, technically sound, he's going to, like, know all the specifics of what the fuck we need to do, and Good all point. that shit, Good point. but, like, you're, you're going to be like, all right, these are priorities. These are not priorities. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Good point. Good point. But that wasn't my question. He, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I would I would put you above Wyatt. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, he would be an assistant to you. But, see, like, Wyatt, the, just the way Wyatt's mind works is that, like, he can't be, like, a leader. Yeah. He's the guy that's going to, like... He's the consultant. Sit- He's going to be the guy that sets the leader straight, like mm-hmm. that helps the leader. But like, but we, there's Wyatt, one thing about Wyatt. Wyatt abandons ship. He's a lone wolf. I mean, kind of, but like, Wyatt's a lone wolf. At the end of the day, Wyatt is like too. He's too hyper focused on on certain things. True. Sometimes, like. Like, he is very smart, but sometimes he can miss, like, the big picture. Mm-hmm. Whereas, I, I think that, I think, like, as opposed to you, like, you could be like, all right, this sounds good, but it doesn't exactly <laughs> cover everything that we need to cover here. I will be the one to say, well, fuck that, no, <laughs> this is what we're doing. <laughs> We need to eat today. <laughs> I'm all for exploring this outpost, but also, why also we're gonna start to about <laughs> why it also doesn't think about like how how something affects everyone. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I get that. Fair enough. <laughs> what do you bring to this, Riley? I've, <laughs> bro. Me and you major at the same thing. I know. I, I know. Thing. <laughs> I get. I get. We're probably the same thing. <laughs> but I feel like I could trust you more in a combat sense. <laughs> okay. I feel like you okay. would hold your own more. I'm not saying you have an idea. I don't know if you have an idea. But I will say that I think you would like beat the shit out of somebody. <laughs> I would. <laughs> I don't know if you would kill him though. That, that's my thing. I don't know if you have an idiot. If if it like if it came down to it, yeah. And I'm and I'm like logically, if I don't kill this person, they're gonna, they're kill, gonna me kill somebody or, or somebody else. Yeah, I'd kill him. Yeah, fair enough. like like no no question. Now, let's say you're driving down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. You and Caitlin are in the car. Uh, poke po- po- post apocalyptic, right? You you're driving down the road. <laughs> you see a little old lady. <laughs> oh, this little old lady. You know, <laughs> help, help. Do you stop? No. Alright, you got it in you. <laughs> you got it in you. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the right choice, oh. because that little old lady was actually the Taliban. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, nah, if Keep one thing... W- one thing about me across the board, like, no discrimination, if yeah. I see someone on the side of the road, I ain't stopping. Fair enough. I, I'm I agree. Just, I'm just not. Especially in those types of situations where the world's ending, 
you know, I can only help well, to even, a point. Even in a normal sense, like, I don't trust people. What if you saw someone don't. getting mugged? If I saw someone get mugged? I feel like I'm more obligated to help if I see someone getting mugged. Like, if, are you talking about, like, if I just saw that tomorrow? Like, if No, I I'm talking saw... post-apocalyptic. Like, you're driving okay. through a town, and you look to your right, and there's just a whole crowd of people beating on some young lady. Post-apocalyptic, like, obviously I would have a weapon with me. Yeah. I might say something. Mm. See, what you fell into there, though, is I, I did that ruse myself. <laughs> <laughs> I fake beat up that woman just to get you to stop. <laughs> and then we robbed you and took all your money and drove away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't trust. <laughs> no trust. If this is the apocalypse, bro, I don't think money is going to get you much. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> you see, by logic, I told you, lower the totem pole. Lower the totem pole. Get the money. Get the money. <laughs> Get the bottle caps. Yeah, the bottle Save caps. Get the bottle caps. God. <laughs> oh, so I was, I was talking earlier. We were talking about the Batman pizza, the, the Little Caesars pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were a big fan of that, right? I got both of them. I got the cheese and the pepperoni. Ooh. And uh, so, so the, what, what's the, the edges cheese, like? The head, the head, something. It's right? a calzone. Ooh. It's a calzone. Oh. So like, it's just it's just like bread stuffed with cheese. Ooh. But if you get the pepperoni one, it's a pepperoni pizza, Ooh. and the calzones are stuffed with like chunks of pepperoni. Mm. It's pretty good. It sounds good. Now, I liked it. It it sounds good. Now with Little Caesars, you know. You can hit them on good days and bad days. I think Little Caesars is one of those places <sighs> to where you hit them on a good day and the pizza just tastes, you know, real nice. But then there's bad days where the pizza is like, I don't know, it's something with like the the topping, like the cheese topping. Like they don't get enough of it on there. Like it's mm. more meat sauce than actual cheese. I hit it on a really good day because today it there were some parts of the pizza that tasted like just a mom and pop pizzeria. Like Ooh. it was actually really good. That sounds good. I think the Batman pizza is so unique that they probably have to put more effort into it. They they probably do. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a unique shape that they have to put. Effort. I liked it a lot. Like I mean, it it still tasted like Little Caesars, but they're just like I don't know. There were some parts where I was just like, hmm. Mm, scrumptious, I'm in New York. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> uh, it, it was really good. Well, that's good. I got pizza today, too, but I just went to Pizza Hut, and they messed up my order. So, oh. the lady calls me. She's delivered. I can get the delivery because I'm a lazy, fat piece of shit. But uh, the lady who's delivering this pizza, no offense to the lady, super nice lady. She looked like a meth head, but super nice lady. Uh, she she <laughs> calls me on my cell phone. It's one of those things where, you know, I don't answer random phone calls. It's just not the date and time to do that, you know. I get so many fake calls that I'm just not one to answer. But, but well, like, right after ordering a pizza, you didn't think that it enough. would be the pizza. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I thought about this later on, right? So I'm like, okay, this it's been like an hour now. This pizza said 30 to 45 minutes. It's been an hour. Um, I, I noticed that there was a hickory call because I've got the silence phone stuff. So I'm like, okay. And, you know, sometimes I get work calls too. So I was like, if it's a work call, do I really want to answer it? Uh, so, <laughs> so the lady calls. So I call her back and she's like, kill me. I'm like, hey, it's Kirby, but thanks. Um, <laughs> kill me. Uh, she's like, I went to your address and it was an empty lot. I'm like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I just said it. I felt like such a dick. I felt like such a dick. But I just immediately was like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I was like, it, I, I give you this. It, it's a little <laughs> difficult because there's not a sign on the house that says, you know, my address. Uh, 
I give you that. But the mailbox does have, which is across the street from my house, so it is a little confusing. I give her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, anyways, so she's like, oh, well, I'm already back at the store, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, that's fine. I'll stand out on the porch, and I'll wait till you come by, and I'll wave you down. Uh, she was like, oh, okay. Well, then the manager of the store, you know, the Pizza Hut, calls me, which I know him personally. He was my mentor at uh, First Baptist Church. Uh, so he calls me. He's like, ta-da. <laughs> ta-da. <laughs> ta-da. He's like, I-, I, heard, I heard there was some issues with your order. And I heard there was some issues with your order. And I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> I hope you've been doing well, man. I know we've or- you've ordered there from well, you've ordered from us before, so I don't know why there's an issue now. And then he's like, "Well, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you two free cheese sticks, cheesy bread, <laughs> two free cheesy breads, two free cheesy breads, and five dollars off your next order." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> so then she comes back, and she's like. What did she do? She forgot the cheesy breads. <laughs> <laughs> so she gets there and she starts blaming the manager who just talked to me. She's like, he was supposed to put your cheesy breads in there. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's okay. I didn't order these cheesy breads. <laughs> like, I'm just like, it's okay. <laughs> Give me my pizza, though. It's been an hour. We're back. <laughs> We're back. We did it. Uh, my computer Whoa. was messing up. So the last thing we were talking about, Riley, according to the last video, was again the old lady at <laughs> the uh, the old lady who brought me the pizza. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah old lady pizza. brings me the pizza. I don't give a fuck is what we realized, and it seemed like a bigger deal to them than it was to me. In short, <laughs> while this was messing up, what, what had happened here was my computer decided I don't have any more space for these videos, Tanner. You need to delete them. And also, I had a recycling bin that was filled with like 10 gigabytes of stuff that I hadn't deleted, so I went ahead and did all of that. Ninus, Riley's over here practicing for the post apocalypse, obviously. Uh, he's blending into his chair. <laughs> <laughs> brown on brown. brown, on brown. That's a good one. That's a good one. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. You like the, you got uh, me. You remember the uh, remember the guy from uh, Hunger Games? He like painted himself to like blend in with the rocks. That's gonna be you. That's gonna be you in the the post apocalypse. The rock man. Right? What was I watching? I was watching uh, Snake Eyes the other night. Have you seen that? I heard it you was hot that? garbage, so I didn't want to watch it. No, th- okay, like, you know, you know that I like garbage movies sometimes. You do. Okay. Um, I liked it. I didn't see, like, a whole lot wrong with it. Like, I saw a couple things that, like, could probably dock a couple points, but, mm-hmm. like, overall, I enjoyed it. Yeah. But, like, there was this one guy. <laughs> he was, uh... <laughs> He was like a like a mentor to um to Storm Shadow. You know Storm Shadow is the <laughs> Dude, I don't know anything about G.I. Joe. I was never into uh, G.I. So, Joe. So in G.I. Joe, like, you know, there's snake eyes, he wears black. Yeah. And he's on the side of the Joes. Yes. And then there's Storm Shadow who wears who wears all white, he's a ninja, and he and is on the side of the Cobra. 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 Right. Okay, so he he was Storm Shadow's like kind of mentor slash trainer dude, mm-hmm. but he was blind. Okay. Um, yeah, somehow he's like really cool, but he's blind. Snake Eyes. Um, no, or the trainer. Storm Shadow. No, the the trainer of Storm Shadow. Oh, okay. So this he's guy, um, yeah, I guess so. Um. But anyway, like he he manages to blend into a wall, like just completely. And Storm Shadow's like, "Oh, I found you. You're getting very bad in your old age." <laughs> like that kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. And or I'm but he, blind. <laughs> but he manages to blend into a wall perfectly. 
And Storm shows like, oh, I found you, and he's like, oh, damn it. I love that <laughs> you, you know, can like, blend into things kind of without thing. knowing what they look like. That's <laughs> exactly. It makes no fucking sense. I would sense. love it if he was like, all right, I'm going to blend in. Don't worry, I can blend in. And it's like him like in a room standing. He's got the lampshade over his head. <laughs> he's standing straight. <laughs> That'll be good. And and like the like the the Joes are like just walking right past Where him. Where is he? Yeah. They're like walking right <laughs> past him. You just see <laughs> Cody in the corner with yeah. the lampshade <laughs> on the lampshade on his head. Oh, that would be perfect. Riley, I want it to be known that in T minus one minute, I'm a year older. No way! I He's did finally it. 25! I did it. I did it for the You're rock. a quarter century old! I did it for the people. <laughs> it's my birthday. We did it. We did it, Riley. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we got him. I want everyone to know that in six months I will be 26. <laughs> you will be. So will my, uh, my girlfriend will be 26 next month. Dang. The cougar. The cougar herself. Dang. The cougar herself. Dang, I didn't know she was older than me. Wow. Yeah, man, she's old. Okay. Old. I love I love red <laughs> it in her face. My cougar. Old lady. Cougar. <laughs> she likes some young. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> if we met if we met when I was eighteen. She would have been a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Lovely lady. Lovely lady. <laughs> lovely pedophile lady. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, Jeez. Shit. I, what's funny is we've, we've had like two recordings now and I don't remember... I know one's got the Pizza Hut thing, but I feel like we talked about Uncharted on the next one, and I didn't see that one, so I don't know. Uncharted was pretty good, though. Just pretty good. It was good. It was good. It was pretty good. <laughs> National Treasure-esque. National Treasure-esque. It was, it was decent. Good. It was decent. Riley, I would rewatch it. Riley, in my 25 years, now that it's, you know, my birthday... <laughs> What are some of your favorite hanging out with Tanner memories that I will enjoy hearing again? One, one of the ones I remember the most is when we decided to wrestle each other, like real deal wrestle. And um, <laughs> we, we just like, we I didn't know much about wrestling and you were just using whatever you knew about WWE. And like, we... <laughs> We we wrestled and you like banged your head on the ground. I don't remember <laughs> any of this. But keep going. Maybe it's because I hit like, my head on the ground, Riley. <laughs> Maybe it is. But like we were wrestling and you you smashed your head like just on the floor. And then you were like like kinda out of it. And, well there you go. <laughs> but like <laughs> I like, but, you kept going. but you kept going. Of course like, I you did. Wouldn't stop. Of course I did. <laughs> and you were like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> and you just kept going. So I was it, like, shit. So was is this Sandra okay? Was this one of our fake wrestlings or were we like wrestling wrestling? Like like I, I like feel high like school. it was kind of it was kind of aggressive. Like we were we were actually wrestling. Okay. That makes sense to me. I remember when you um, swanton bombed me, and you your foot went through a laundry <laughs> basket. I remember that. That was fun. You like you like roll <laughs> like I was on it. So this laundry basket, by the way, this laundry basket. You know, it's one of those things where it's like inner fabric type things or whatever. And I'm laying on top of it, stupid kid. It really slow dog bombs. And like, almost like, his foot goes through it. It shows how much he oh, weighed that time. It was only his foot went through it. Yeah. Yeah. That Do you remember fun, one 
when my little brother used to do like the Rey Mysterio, like this or no, he would wear a Rey Mysterio mask, but he would do like like the the uh, Jeff Hardy flip on the his dolphin uh, that that dolphin thing, yeah, on a mattress. <laughs> I remember him wrestling that dolphin. That was crazy. That was fun times. I had a good time. I remember us having a ladder match in my living room. <laughs> One time we tried to like we had we were recording. This is a while back. This yeah. is a while back. We were trying to record with like a freaking like twelve megapixel. Oh my god! Everything was <laughs> like bad quality back camera. then. Like a digital camera, yep. like a little tiny thing. Yep. And we were go- trying to duct tape it to the ceiling. Yep. <laughs> so we wanted we like a like sky a, cam. Like the aerial Which, view of the way, wrestling match. By the way, <laughs> I think we could have sold that to some some uh, some uh, characters back in the day. It's <laughs> like two 12-year-old boys wrestling on a fake bed. Come on. Come on. That could have sold <laughs> But no, I remember that. I remember that distinctively because we had our own little entrances and stuff. <laughs> and somebody, I think it was either you or me who had sunglasses at night as our theme song. <laughs> and we had the we had the glasses on. That. We had the glasses I on. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was funny. That was so fun. <laughs> oh god. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> See, do you not think they would have bought that? They would have bought that. They would have bought that. That was a good time, though. I do remember that. It was a good. It, we had like the straight ramp, and it was like a table, but like you know, we we're up the size where you could just walk across that shit. And it was mm-hmm. like it was like a rig ramp, you know, like it goes straight to the rig. Mm-hmm. We had it all. We had it all going. <laughs> we were prepared. <laughs> that was, oh, a good was time. so that funny. Was a good time. One time, like you tried to, you tr- <laughs> you tried to have a ladder match in your living room. I remember that, like in the downstairs. Living I remember room, that, and you duct taped it to the ceiling fan. Like, uh, well, I, the I camera. Put, no, I don't know if I did, did. I think I put it on like the mantle, didn't I? Or did I put it on the ceiling fan? I thought you put it on the ceiling fan. I feel like I, I had. I don't think I'm that. I don't think I'm that good. So but I, we had like we had a ladder. Like, we had right a ladder, there. and we had like a strap. I think it was like a Guitar Hero strap or something. That was the title, and we had that uh-huh. on the fan. I remember that, <laughs> and we were like all fighting on it. There, there was like ten kids in there. <laughs> we had a money in the bank. It was a money in the bank <laughs> for yeah. for a rock band strap. <laughs> How did no one get hurt? How did no one get hurt? <laughs> I remember we never we were never aggressive enough to oh, hurt me, anybody. Me, me and Tyler Cavanis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me and Tyler Cavanis. I remember one time we got in so much trouble because mom, mom, mom came in the backyard or something, and me and Tyler Cavanis were legit whipping each other's ass with sticks. <laughs> not like not like literally like bending over beating each other's ass. We were just like we had sticks like lightsabers like walking sticks, and we were like. You know, badly or whatever. <laughs> but, like, we would actually, like, fucking deck each other. <laughs> like, just... <"Bah!" laughs> and I remember my mom... My mom got so mad. Because he was, he was like... You're, you're, his parents are going to come and he's going to have bruises all over him. <laughs> my mom, he's beating me hard enough beating him. <laughs> My my other favorite memories were when we would like jump up on the on the golf cart, just head out to Brushy oh Mountain at, at midnight. Dude, that was <laughs> like, awesome. I still Dude, miss doing that. There was so many I, times at Brushy where. Do you remember? It was when I was first started dating my ex girlfriend, and I legit went out there and stole maintenance car. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? I don't remember if you were there. I think it might have just been me and her, but we legit walked. And then I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> I, like, I was like, let's go drive around. And I just stole a maintenance cart. <laughs> I didn't know you did Drove that. around. It was fun. I had a good time. I, I kind of low-key want to do it again. <laughs> right? <laughs> like if I'm right? 
dude, my 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 uh, golf cart at that we used to have at home. It's at the beach now at our beach place, and that yeah. sucker's fast. Like we upgraded mm. it to where it goes like forty or fifty or something like that. But like it's it's fast now, and I can't imagine going out there on that thing and just. We have electric yeah. bikes now, though. Me and you could go out there and do the electric bikes and ride around. Hey, they're fun. Have you rode an electric bike before? I don't think I they're have. They're pretty no. cool. They're pretty freaking cool. I mean, you pedal like once and then it just kind of. <laughs> That's yeah. what Kaylee wrecked on. This was some of the funnest nights, dude. I know. Like, we you remember walk, that one I remember night? we walked around. Like we had groups of like <laughs> ten people too, just walking around. We we loaded up the golf cart like. We had we had four people in that thing, like, because you had the you had the seat on the back that you could you have a couple people in there, and there was one night where we went to that what hole was it? It was the hole where you're like it's a par four, but you you hit you hit down the hill and then you hit up the hill over a little tiny pond and there's a little waterfall there like a little fountain. And then you hit up on the green and it goes yeah, 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 to uh, that's Baxter, not Baxter, uh, Barry Allen, Barry Allen, Barry Allen's house. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the flash. Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> so back, back down the hill, yeah, there's yeah. a little, uh, the out, the <laughs> drink machine. I know where this and, is going. And so Greer thought this was so funny. I went up to that and I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, they got the drinks. They got that grape drink. And he thought that was so funny. He talked about that for years. Dude, I want that video again. There's so many videos I have. There's one where it's me and you on the golf cart and you just go, pineapple! <laughs> <laughs> Pineapples! I have no idea what we're even talking about. But, um, I want to go home. I just remember walking down the... Okay, this is what I was laughing about earlier, because I was thinking about our golf cart. You know, my family's golf cart. We just ride around our little neighborhood and stuff. The first time I met Scott Treadway... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not the first time I met Scott Treadway, obviously. I had classes with Scott Treadway. But the first time like I hung out with Scott Treadway, it was for like a school project or something. Maybe... Maybe it wasn't the first time, but either way, it was the first time he rode our golf cart. And <laughs> it's me, and this was for a, a biology project. So I think it was like me, John Bush, Jay York, or Maria Thorson, and Kevin Alatus, and Scott. So there's six people, seven people counting me, okay. all on this golf cart. <laughs> And there's at one point, like, there's so many people on the golf cart. Scott falls off the golf cart. <laughs> and the man, you know, more power to him. He grabs the, the golf cart and holds on. And I'm just dragging <laughs> through the neighborhood on this, like, hard concrete road. And Scott's just holding on. And he's like, <laughs> like he gets up and he just, like, scrapes, like, all the way down. <laughs> His stomach and like his knees and like, like he's just like bleeding. Gosh. And he's just like, yeah, I hurt. <laughs> like, no shit. Stop. Yeah, that hurts. I'm like, there's seven people on this golf cart. Why did no one tell me to stop? <laughs> Why did they let me do this? Why did they let me drag him through the whole freaking development? That's terrible. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised we didn't ever get in trouble <laughs> for being on the golf cart. Kind of am, dude. I can't. Which, I mean, but I could have like, handled it. I could have handled it. Like, it was not at the same time, though, <laughs> Joey was just kind of like, yeah, it's Tanner, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, <laughs> what, I, like, what, I mean? that's what I mean. Like, I could have handled it. Like, like if it, somebody came up to me, I was like, I'll be like, hey. And they'd be like, oh, hey, hey, Tanner. Like, so I mean, oh, I Tanner. Yeah, Tanner. yeah. Like, I don't yeah. think it would have been that big of an issue. Exactly. But I'm still surprised that we weren't ever confronted with the <laughs> the issue at hand here, you know? Yeah. I'm the, just surprised by it. The only time that we, like, got into something was, like, when we got your golf cart stuck. And we had to go to that 
<laughs> that person's house. And Kelly went and took a shit in their so, toilet. <laughs> yeah, and my little brother just goes like, Hey, go use your bathroom. Goes <laughs> there and just blows the motherfucker up. While we're, while we're digging out our while golf we're, Borrowing two shovels, trying to dig this golf cart out of a mud hole. And Kelly's in there just taking a fat shit. Taking a shit in their house. <laughs> like, come on, Kelly. Could your timing be any better? <laughs> at least they gave us, at least they gave us shovels, because we weren't getting that shit out. <laughs> we would have been screwed if we didn't have a shovel. Oh, we would have had to call my parents. I'm surprised we even got it out with the shovel. Like, I have too. That was <laughs> as impressive. As it was. impressive. We, we did pretty well to get it out of there. God. That was fun, though. I like to go into the river and stuff. It, it was it was so deep that, like, the the seat, like, the, the, the metal black, part of the, the seat part of was, the was hitting the, seat. the ground. Yeah, it, it was, was hitting in the, the ground. ground. It was like, in the ground. <laughs> yeah, like, that was on the ground. It was cratered <laughs> in the ground. That, that's, like... Three feet above the, the tire, like it's a pretty big distance. <laughs> I don't know how we did that. I don't, I don't know how either. we got it out. God, it was fun though. <laughs> you remember that time we came over to your house for a camping trip? Not a camping trip. It was Jeez. your birthday, and we were camping. <laughs> Kelly left the Kelly left the thing undone, and there was so many bugs. <laughs> It was, like, everyone was so pissed that night. So pissed. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Did somebody, did some people sleep inside? I don't even remember. Maybe. Were you there one year when I had my cousin from Florida up for that? I'm guessing no. <laughs> okay. My cousin from Florida came up, and, like, they just happened to be up here during my birthday. Yeah. So I was like... Okay, I kind of have to invite him since he's here. Yeah. You know, and um, so I did, and, like, <laughs> me and my friends are, like, like Let's do the coyotes out here sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, shit, oh, shit. And he started freaking out, and he eventually just left the tent and, like, yeah. slept in the living room I think away I do from everyone else. That. Okay, I figured you were probably there. I, I don't know if I remember it. Like, I don't know if I was there, but I, I do remember this story. Yeah, okay. So, like, I could have not been there and y'all told me, or I could have been there and I probably egged I feel it like, on. I feel like you probably were there. And like, I probably I, egged it on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that there's any of these trips that... Well, trips. I call them trips. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's any of these birthday parties that you weren't there. Probably like, not, but... If I was, I probably was like, if the coyotes were. <laughs> Can we take a break? <laughs> yeah, 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 go ahead. I gotta be. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> There's a handy dandy pause button on OBS, which I don't know if you know about. But I unpaused no just now, so. Yeah. No way. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's a lot better so than, cool. you know, the pause of, hey, your storage is full. <laughs> it's a lot better than that. I have to agree. I have to agree as well. Look at that. Look at that right there. Ain't he the best? That's my dog, Oliver. Friend of the show. <laughs> best friend of the show. Right there. Look at that. I feel like... I feel like every single person you mentioned ever is a friend of the show. They have to be, Riley. They have to be. Otherwise, they're not friends. They're friend not of the show. Friends. Friend of the show. Friend not of the show. friends, you know? You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just saying. <laughs> I mean, half the people you've mentioned have not ever watched the show, ever. <laughs> you know? You're probably right. Uh, we probably got a good point. It's probably a good thing, you know? Like, probably. Nathan? Nathan probably should watch the show. <laughs> probably shouldn't do it. Uwert? Shouldn't watch the show. Shouldn't watch the show. Just saying. Oh, gosh. Just saying. I ain't seen him since high school. He might beat us up, Riley. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know either. 
Could be like Tony. Tony in jail. Tony? Yeah. Like Tony Castillo? Yeah, he's in jail. Killing somebody. Who? He killed somebody. Oh shit, he did, didn't he? <laughs> You know, some things I just forget I know. until you just oh, remind I mean, me of there's, them. There's, there's people from, you know, early years where you're just like, what are they doing now? Oh, yeah, he killed somebody. <laughs> and he's in jail. <laughs> you know, kind of hard to forget that. Wait, wait. Is he the one that got into, like, a scuffle with somebody in Stony Point? Is that what happened? I feel like that's that's who I'm thinking of. He shot somebody who was dating his then ex-girlfriend who was pregnant with his Yeah. Girlfriend. I'm pretty sure that happened at Stony Point. That's Probably. that's what I'm thinking. Of. I knew that okay. kid somehow. I think I had homeroom with him or something. The one he shot. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I have to do. Uh, anyways. Anyways. 25 years of Tanner. <laughs> Yeah. Is this just like <laughs> this is the, the Tanner <laughs> reminiscent show? It is, man. It's, 20, it's, the, 25th it's the 25th anniversary. It's the 25th anniversary of Tanner. You know, I was once a wee little lad. Now I'm a fat little lad. Can I say fat and little in the same sentence? Like, is that a thing? I don't know. I don't think you can. Fat, little. <laughs> little fat? Little fat. You can say little fat, right? Just a little thick? Yeah. You you are like you're I, slimming down though. I'm like, skinny to be fat fair, still. I'm still skinny fat. You you yeah. getting it down. I'm getting it a little down. A little down. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to lose twenty five by twenty five. Didn't do it. Lost ten. Ten is still good. Yeah. Ten is really to, good. I need to check in and weigh myself again. I didn't want to do it to not face the disappointment inevitably if it was bad. So <laughs> it was bad. Look at Oliver. Look at him staring at me. Are you doing workouts or are you just doing no. the dieting? Dude, I'm I, I I miss when I used to do my ab workouts. I still got my dumbbells right here. I, I used to do my ab workouts. I used to run every day. I used to freaking do that switch fit thing. Which was fun. I like that switch fit thing. Uh yeah, I used to do a bunch of stuff like that, but then I just, as soon as I got a job and now promotion and having 10 employees and shit, it's just harder to do workouts and stuff. I don't know how people do it. Hey, when I was playing rugby, like I was, rugby. I was fit. I was pretty fit. I like, remember. Right before, right before, like when I had first started rugby, I was like ripped. Because I was going to the gym like every day. Mm -hmm. And then when I started rugby, after a couple weeks, like I was like having to drive an hour away to right. rugby. So I was like kind of tired and I didn't go to the gym on my off days from rugby. So I was I was only getting my workout on rugby days, which is mm. like twice a week plus matches. Mm. But um, so I was still like, like cardio fit, but I wasn't like Bill. I wasn't super ripped yeah. anymore. Um, and then like after I played rugby for a bit, I hurt my shoulder. Mm. And then I didn't do anything for like four months because mm. like you for one, shoulder. I was I was let my shoulder heal. Yeah, but also I was like, you know. <laughs> I just didn't have any motivation at all to do anything right. for a bit. Um, you gonna play rugby then, again? I I don't think I will. I really wish I could, but like, I don't see the shoulder was not just bothering me when I heard it. It was uh, bothering me before that too. You old so man. Like, yeah. Is this what a twenty-five year old feels like? <laughs> Yeah, I know. It it really sucks. Like I I wish I could. Yeah. Like I really would if I could. But like, you really liked it, right? I did. I loved it. Like I loved my teammates. Like I loved playing with them, and like I had a good time with it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like I want to be able to like throw a ball with my kid one day. You know what I mean? Like don't I don't. I don't dead. I don't. Dead I don't want to fuck up my body to the point where I can't like enjoy life. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I don't blame you. Um, 
That's why I, I had a good time with sports it. my whole life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like I don't at the same Off time like kids, I don't man. I don't regret the experience. Like I I learned a lot about rugby and I enjoy the sport more now knowing so much more about it. Is that your um, cat I heard? Okay, I thought I heard a meow. You might have. <laughs> Maybe it's a ghost, and I can play back this clip and be like, there's a ghost in the background or something. Um, you know me, the staunch, but, not no ghost believer. But anyway, like, I, I enjoyed the experience so much, and, like, I learned a lot about the game, mm -hmm. um, which enhanced my enjoyment of it. Um, but yeah, I had a great time with it. Cool. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to get back into it, because I, I, I just assumed the season was over. I didn't actually know that the shoulder injury came. Yeah, then. so, like, the the whole shoulder injury thing, like, that, that was that was during my first match. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> was that the but, one you like, wanted me to come to, too? Yeah, it was. Fuck, I'm but sorry. But, like, so, so, like, I played in it, and I was diving for a loose ball, mm -hmm. and then, like, someone dove on my shoulder, oh, and, like, see, this wasn't the first time I'd hurt my shoulder, yeah. like, it, it had been bothering me, like, just doing drills and stuff, like, contact yeah. drills, but that, that was the point where it was like, fuck, that hurt, yeah. like, did you finish like, the game, or did you just leave? That's not, that's not how it's supposed to feel, yeah, I finished the game, this happened, like, at the beginning of the match, Oh, and it's damn. like a eight, it's an eighty minute match, yeah. you know. Um, but like, I I remember like getting up and like ho holding my shoulder, and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> like that really hurts. But I was like, "It's, it's not like to the point where like I feel like my arm's gonna fall off. Right. So I'm gonna tough it out, and I'm gonna finish this match. And so Did like." You win? We did win. Well, there you go. You're and, one and zero, right? Like, that's all you needed. You know, you're well, undefeated. Well, in rugby. Like, yeah. So, like, the thing is, like, I wasn't supposed to start that match, but the guy who was supposed to start in front of me mm. didn't show up. Oh. Like he apparently like got sick and like was throwing up. Mm. So I was like, I right, I'm the starter. Cool. So I show up and like. Then I did have one play. <laughs> no, like I did have one play where after I got hurt now, because <laughs> it happened at the beginning. Um, they they kicked the ball to me. I'm the winger, right? I'm the guy on the edge. So I'm, no I'm the, like, I'm I'm the guy. Who, they kick the ball out for speed. Okay. Like I'm I'm the breakout guy. Okay. So I make it like to about ten meters or so from from scoring mm -hmm. but like i can tell that i'm not gonna score right right but instead of like letting them tackle me out of bounds that would be a turnover they okay. would get the ball so i don't do that i'm i'm like this much from going out of bounds like right. i'm pretty close to the to the line and i cut back in instead and i'm like i'm just gonna take the tackle Give my teammates I'm the ball hurt back. My shoulder even more. No, it it didn't hurt, but like, like I did that, and I I took the tackle, I took the hit, give my teammates the ball. Couple 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 seconds later, like thirty seconds, sixty seconds later, they score. And like, if I had been yeah. if I had been selfish, like a lot of a lot of guys in that position, like. We probably would have turned the ball over. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I remember my teammates going like, dude, that was your try. That was that was a great job. Like, that was you. <laughs> and I, I, I remember feeling like, damn, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I will like, never see you again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, I, didn't, I thought I would be back. But, like, that that made me feel good. Like, yeah. like what I... What I've been training for, you know, like it paid off, but like Just saying, Ral, you're the Undertaker of rugby. You've never lost. Exactly, I am undefeated. <laughs> you're undefeated. You gotta keep that record, man. No, before no, that, though, no one's trifled with you enough to bring you back. You know. 
I was proud though. Like I got I got the start for Charlotte Rugby Club. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I got to. There's not there's not that like a ton of people game. that could say that. You know what one I mean? Good game. <laughs> Superstar player. I did play in a, a summer tournament with some of those guys, but yeah, it was fun. Good. Good. I loved it. Maybe you can, you know, once the you and Caitlin start having your old kids run around, get them into rugby, and you can live vicariously through them like one of those dads. <laughs> if they if they want to do it, it's whatever. Watch my I'm not... kids be super into sports, and you know me, I just don't care. Right. I'm not the I don't want to be it, one of know? those. I don't want to be the one of those dads that's like, you got to play the sport. Yeah, I don't want to be one of those dads either. But like, if they're good at it, like, I, I don't know. I won't know what to do. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> you know? You'll just take them to me. You'll just take them yeah, to like, me. Ah, yeah, good <laughs> like, if they lose, like, I'm not going to be, like, hard on them or anything. I'm just like, oh, you tried. Good job. You tried. Yeah. Good, good job. Good morning, I ever did. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. You showed up. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I don't want to be the guy who like forces the sport on their kids. Yeah. But like, I do want to like encourage it. Yeah. Because it's yeah. good. Tell it's good for kids. Yeah. It's good for kids to be on a team and and learn like that kind of thing. You know that you, you know? can lose and have exactly experience. and and how to be how to be a good teammate you know what i mean yeah like my boss at uh my job always says that you know when he looks to hire people he always likes to do people from sports background because they know exactly they know failure and they know training and getting better and all that stuff right and, and how, I, to, how to I work always, with somebody you know, I always remind them hey i didn't play any sports so what, <laughs> what am I? you did you played some sports I when did, you were really young long <laughs> Not long, and I was never great at any of them. Well, to be fair, I didn't play like a ton more than you did. <laughs> you were on that football team that lost every game. <laughs> Gosh, I'm mighty. I was invited Dude. to that man. I was invited to that football team. You know things are bad if they offered Tanner Kirby a job on the football team. I just want you to know that he wanted everyone oh, to play on that team. I know he did. <laughs> like, it's like, like it, it can't get team. much worse, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad, bro. Oh. They had me a D-line. I, I was all of 120 pounds, and they had me a D-line. He wanted me to be a wide receiver. <laughs> I was facing and you guys know my that hand-eye coordination, Riley. <laughs> I was facing guys that were twice as much in weight as me. And I, I'm not exaggerating. You were the wall, Riley. The wall. He he thought that, like, me and Zane, you know me and Zane were the same weight. He thought that we were going to, like, slip through. <laughs> it was so fucking stupid. Just got decked every that, time. That doesn't work. Just got decked, man. Gosh, Who was the quarterback? Dumb. Who was quarterback? Gosh, the quarterback was Jackson. Oh. Jackson. <laughs> he was terrible. He was so sense. bad. I just remember I we lost every single game. Looking back, I probably could have been the quarterback. Like, yeah. <laughs> like real talk. If I hadn't been so backwards at like fourteen, <laughs> like I probably could have had that job. But I mean, you're at that age it is where it's what it like, is. you know. One of those things. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. But, like, he was ass. <laughs> he was so bad. It was to the point where, like, we gave up on him and we just ran a wildcat with Tristan Ledford. You know, Tristan Ledford was fast. We are just like, you yeah, just hike the ball to Tristan Ledford let him run. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let go. We, didn't let Jack we didn't let Jackson even on the field, like, halfway through the season. <laughs> God. It was bad. They should have brought me in like the longest yard. <laughs> <laughs> See, our high school is like 80% west. And then oh, I remember. The other 20% is a little bit of east. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, east was awful. Dude, I don't remember. It. Who was on the team at, on, in high school that came from east? In high school? Shit, Dude, I, I don't know. I can't remember anyone. Besides Kevin. I mean... 
I mean, Kevin, yeah. Kevin's the Kevin's only one. A big and I, my and, favorite memory uh, of Kevin's football career was that time he missed his our chance to go kid, to the playoffs yeah, the kid, on his yeah. birthday. Jeez. I remember and, I, um, I, I, I felt so bad. Devontae. But, Devontae Clark. You remember him? I didn't know he went to East, but okay. He was he was one year younger than us. Ah, and yeah, he was he was the good. one guy. He was the one guy that I thought could make it in college. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, he didn't make it. <laughs> it's it's sad. Well, I mean, you know, you could be the diamond in the rough in the shit, you know, when everybody around you is a shit sandwich. But once you put that diamond in <laughs> with the other diamonds, you realize mm. it ain't even a half a carrot. <laughs> That's true. Oh, God. That's true. Well, this was the Chibi Comics, well, Chibi Cast After Dark. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry for all the pauses and weird transitions, but, you know, shit happens. It's an After Dark show, and we're a garbage truck on fire uh, when it comes to podcasting. So, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more episodes like this. If you think why it does have a problem, comment below. Uh... <laughs> If you made it this far, if you made it this far in the, the video, be sure to wish me a happy birthday as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, click the subscribe button, you whores, and uh, we'll see you next time.